I just had a follow up to um, MJ's question. Sure. When you're talking about the president, sort of, you know, and, and I should preface this by saying the, you know, the, the world and we are all still getting to know this president. He, he has been around for for a while, but mm -hmm. we have not seen him in the role as president for, for a while. Um, and so, can you tell us when should we um, interpret his words as his reaction versus U.S. policy? He's the President of the United States. He speaks for the United States. There's also a legal review and process that is important to take place uh, in the case of genocide or war crimes. So we're trying to provide as much information on that as possible. Any, like, tips that you can provide or any sort of, you know, <laughs> any, any like, giveaways that this is the President talking about what he's seeing and his reaction as a human versus you know, the United States government is now going to do X, Y, and Z because I have determined... Well, I think it. what's important to understand is that determination or whatever you label it doesn't change policy. It change, What we are doing right now in terms of the amount of security assistance we're providing, including the new package today, goes far beyond what we have done in many cases where there ha we have called it genocide. So there is not a direct trigger in that way. Um, and if that's helpful clarity for anybody, happy to provide it. But he is the president. He speaks for what our policy is. And I would take his words for exactly what they are. Go ahead. 